It's been a real journey of discovery. And I think it's been a, a genuine collaboration and integration of, of art and science and landscape and, and landscape architecture. What I wanted to do first with this, this whole of this pavilion was to do something really simple and in a way it was almost to, to create a, a journey. So when you walk into the meadow it's, it's a very simple idea and, and the idea that the meadow itself is, uh, is, is planted at eye level rather than on, on ground level. So you have a, a, a deeper kind of connection with nature. And because the bee is in peril, and one of the big problems that the bees sort of facing is lack of biodiversity and the lack of uh, natural meadowland, uh, what we wanted to do was, was create this, this sense of the British countryside, like this meadow over in Milan. So working really closely with James Millington at uh, BDP, uh, we created this, uh, uh, this, 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 this British meadow, which changes over the course of the, of, over the six months. Wolfgang is obviously extremely good and, and has a, a great track record of uh, very large uh, iconic artwork pieces but then set that into a landscape was something that I uh, was really excited about sort of working with him on. And we started off looking at uh, fruit trees and pollination of the fruit trees and that gave us the idea of the orchard which was the first starting point of the visitors experience off the expo site, the Decamanus and uh, how that could then move through into uh, a, a very typical British landscape uh, theme of the, of the wildflower meadow and that uh, really gave us a really great opportunity to pick up on what, what bees sort of do in their life cycle and, and the journey and uh, translating that to what the visitors would experience uh, leading you towards that, that wonderful uh, iconic artwork which would be the hive. What we've done is uh, when one actually gets into the hive it itself it's a, a sensory experience where there's thousands of LEDs and all these are being triggered by the energy levels within the hive back, in, back here in Nottingham. So it's continually moving, continually kind of changing. Hopefully, when they get inside uh, the hive and they hear uh, with great uh, intimacy the messages, the vibrational messages that honeybees uh, share and the, the, the global buzzing that the bees share within the colony. Hopefully they will feel that uh, there is a sharp uh, description of the colony status, how well the colony is in the change of the sounds and vibrations that the visitor will experience uh, within the hive. I mean, I mean one, one can see that you know, the bee is a, as a sentinel. I mean, the healthier the beehive, the healthier the planet. In a way, one could sort of see the pavilion that we're doing is a is a barometer of the of the health of the earth and how important it is and how important that the bee is in maintaining the health of the earth and in pollinating you know so many foods that we that we eat and we take for granted so without the bees and the pollinators you know life would be very different and a lot more unpleasant <laughs>